Hey everyone, welcome to the Genius Dog Challenge. My name is Shani Dror. I'm a researcher at ELP University. And today we're going to explain about the challenge. So hi again. I have here today with me Dr. Claudia Fugazza. Hi Claudia. Hi, hello Shani and hello everyone. Claudia is a researcher at ELTU University. She is an ethologist and a dog behavior specialist. And Claudia, can you explain a bit um, what led us to make this challenge? So how come this challenge? <laughs> it's a bit weird, I guess, for people at home because they don't, it's a lot to grab to understand. Yes, of course, yes. Well, I have to say that uh, the whole project is a lot uh, to understand for us as well. And I think that there is a lot, really, really a lot for everyone, including us, to learn from these uh, genius dogs that we will be testing. But, uh, well, starting from the beginning, I have to say, I am very excited to start this. And, um, yes. And I will it give. Took a lot, it took a long time, right? <laughs> it took a long time, a lot of efforts uh, from our part, especially from your part, because Shani is the leader of this project, and uh, also from the part of the dog owners of our super special genius dogs that are participating. So it's um, it's a big effort on the on well on everybody's side, but I think we do have a lot to learn. And uh, I'm sure that everybody will be, uh, we will really blow your mind. Like our minds have been blown when we at these dogs, really. And I think both Shani and I have quite a lot of experience with dogs um, as scientists, as dog trainers, living with dogs and everything. But something like this, like what we saw with these dogs, to me, honestly, was totally mind blowing. And I really didn't believe my eyes. Me too. I mean, for me, every time that Max is one of the dogs participating in the challenge, and he lives uh, in Bud in Budapest, so he comes to our department sometimes. For me, every day with him is is a happy day because seeing how happy the dogs are to to participate in the test. I mean, for us, we consider this a test, but for them, this is just pure play and fun. Yes, so, Claudia, how did you? Because you you started the you, you started the project and then I came as your student, and the first dog you met was Whiskey. She's also our first dog that is competing with Rico from Spain in this uh, challenge in this episode on tomorrow. So don't miss it. So can you tell us a bit how uh, you met them? How yes. You met and Whiskey. Mm -hmm. Well, this was a very very lucky coincidence, as I as I tend to say, because I was in charge of uh, leading a research project on uh, language learning and processing in dogs, and I was at the very initial stage of it. So, um, together with my uh, team members and colleagues at the department, we were discussing what to do. We wanted to see how dogs uh, learn words and so on, and we were planning um, studies and experiments and discussing. Um, and then one day, just by chance, Whiskey's owner, whose name is Helge, and we say to him in the case he will watch us um, on this video, um, Helge um, is a journalist, and uh, he came to the department because he wanted to interview some of the dog scientists. And so he came to the department and um, we met because of the interview that um, he gave. He, yeah, he gave interviews. So one of the questions that he asked me was uh, what I was working on at the moment. And I told him, oh, I'm, I'm working on a very interesting project about language learning and processing in dogs. And I'm just at the beginning of it. So we are planning studies. And he told me, oh, do you know, I have a dog and uh, she knows the, um, uh, the name of many of her toys. Like she has almost 60 or over 60. And I was honestly, Helge will, uh, sorry, but I didn't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I didn't want to be unpolite, 
but I didn't believe um, that the dog uh, really knew the name of like 60 toys. I know that many owners are convinced that their dog knows the names of some toys, but when we happen to test it, because we have tested it, and when we happen to test it, it turns out that when the owner cannot give visual cues, like little hints, like pointing to one or a little eye movement to the other, the dogs cannot recognize the toy only solely based on their names. So I would I didn't want to be rude to Helge, so I just said, I'm like, oh, okay, that's interesting. And you know, you can drop me a video because of course I stayed open-minded, maybe. Mm -hmm. You'll never say never. And a couple of days later, he got back home. He lives in Norway and he sent me a video of whiskey being able to fetch a bunch of toys based on apparently their Norwegian names and the toys were in a different room. So Helge was, the owner Helge was in a room where he could not see where the toys were and uh, he would send from this room a whiskey, the dog, to, um, to, to fetch a given toy and it seemed to be like, okay, she's really doing it. So we decided to that this was very interesting because most of the dogs that we had met so far, as Shani knows, couldn't do it. And so I went to test um, to test Whiskey, and so Whiskey's been uh, with us since a couple of years now. At least I'm very bad in counting. Um, I think years. it's been at least two and a half years. Two and a half year, I think yes. And she has been tested several times, and I have to say that when I went to Norway to test her. My was blown completely. I was I was so excited. I wouldn't even sleep at night. Probably whiskey was excited as well because when she every time that she um, saw me entering the house and even when she heard me arriving, she would start to get excited because of course my presence my presence was associated to a lot of fun, a lot of toys, a lot of tests, which was which is a lot of fun for for the dogs, especially for this dog. And I think that this is, uh, so this is how we started. Basically, we started the project because we realized that uh, this dog was special. Whiskey was special, was not like any other dogs that I had met before. And uh, we wanted to see whether, are there other dogs like this? What is it? Is it a talent? Why are they special? How do they differ from the other dogs? And then we met up. Right, Chani? Yeah, because it's not because it's not the first case. I mean, we know already that there are some dogs, but whenever you look at a study, and for us as scientists, it's very important that there are many subjects in the in the study because then you can generalize your results to other. So if I find one dog that does something special, maybe this is just a coincidence. Maybe it's a special dog. And most of the studies that we found. The, that were done before, they were normally done on one or maybe two dogs tops. So this is why it's very hard for us to, to do experiments also. And then we kept searching and uh, we met a few of the other dogs. And actually the last dog that we met was Rico. And he joined our uh, program, I think, less than half a year ago. Um, I, I think he's like one of the younger dogs in the sense of learning. He's also literally one of the younger dogs and also one of the less experienced ones. But it's amazing to see how fast he's he's catching up and how many toys he's, how much experience he's getting. Yes. And I remember um, when we met, um, we are talking about Whiskey and Rico, and we will give you more details about the challenge. So we will give you a little bit of an explanation of how it goes if you stay tuned in, in just a little while. But we are just too excited about these dogs, so we really want to talk about them. And uh, we are talking about Whiskey and Rico because these are the first two dogs that will participate in the challenge. It will be live broadcast tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. So subscribe so you don't miss it, guys. Click the subscribe, otherwise you might forget. <laughs> and I wanted to ask you um, because we were together on uh, online because nowadays everything is happening online. Uh, when we first met Rico, it was already in COVID times, um, and it was this spring. And we met Rico because uh, somebody who had attended a seminar of mine told me that his neighbor may have such a dog that can learn words this way so easily. So he put me in contact with uh, Rico's owner, Sara, 
And so we decided to fix a meeting online and uh, Shani and I were there and Sara and Rico were there. And uh, I remember seeing Rico, we, we, you know, we asked uh, Sara to show us how they would play this game with name toys. And I remember that they have a house with a staircase and uh, the toys were downstairs and Rico would just run down the stairs and come up with the toy they asked for. It was so happy and so excited. And I remember the face Chani and I made when we asked um, Sara, the owner, oh, but can you tell us how did you teach this to Rico? Yeah, because they were um, surprised of how Rico was doing. I mean, we that's, I think for me, that's the most, and this is part of the reason why we're doing the challenge, because you were starting to talk about how he learned the toys. I mean, so easily. So the owners were like, yeah, my dog knows toys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, yeah, trying to teach dogs working super hard. And they're like, yeah, here's a toy. Here's a name. He got it. Finish. Yeah. Yeah. So she told basically, I did not... I did not train Rico. Rico just happened to learn. We we didn't really train on purpose. So really, Shani and I have been trying to teach um, names um, of toys to uh, I don't know how many more dogs. Than 50, more, more than fifty than. dogs, <laughs> and we really did not succeed. Mostly, so we know how difficult this is for most dogs. And Rico was just happening to learn it. Because any training so let's talk a bit about what the dogs let's talk about what the dogs have been doing um this during the week and what are going to be doing tomorrow so can you take us through this yes so we opened the box on thursday but first of all we had to send oh, two yeah. <laughs> of new toys to different places of the globe because our dogs are from norway Netherlands, Spain, um, Brazil, Florida, and Hungary. So we had to send two boxes of toys to each of these dogs. The so challenge has two stages. The challenge has two stages, and both of them are very challenging and difficult, but the second one is super challenging and super difficult. So in the first box, there are six toys for every dog. And every dog participating in the challenge, every one of our six awesome, super genius dogs has a week to learn the name of the six toys. What will happen, Shani, on day seven? On day seven, that's tomorrow at seven o'clock, okay, in Central Europe time, we're going to be testing the dogs. And this is the first time, I think, ever that a dog science has been done, is going to be done live broadcasted uh, and um, I'm very passionate about knowing more about dogs this is why I'm dedicating my life to this and I think most of the owners are also they know their dog and they want to learn more about their dogs so this is why we're running this project we're giving you a chance to see firsthand how we're doing science because I know sometimes just the word science sounds scary and it's hard to understand. And in this project, we really want to explain to you how we're doing everything. So tomorrow, um, we're going to see if they actually learned the names of the toys that they had the whole week to learn. And uh, the owners will have two cameras, one in each room. And I'm going to be asking the dogs to bring a toy. And then the owners, I'm tell gonna tell them what's the name of the toy that we want. The owners are going to tell the name to the dogs and the dogs are going to run and bring the toy if they learned it let's see <laughs> we know they've been we know they've been uh, practicing you can see them on instagram practicing all week yes and so the dogs all of them have the same six toys so they are they are all identical so we cannot say that, oh, this toy was, you know, nicer, prettier, more difficult. So all of the dogs received the same toys and they all have the same names, which we gave to the toys. And yeah, I have to, almost the same toys because we sent a package to Brazil. And as Claudia said, it was very difficult to send the packages. And the package to Brazil got caught in the customs. So even though there were like six dogs toys there, they wanted over 200, almost 300 euros for the tax. 
Uh, so that package got destroyed and then we were missing a few toys. So you have to believe us that there is no difference between the toys. Just some dogs, we could not find the toys again because it's 150 toys to, to find. So yeah. That's some issues. <laughs> we are toy dealers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you would have thought the dog toys are so expensive. Yes, <laughs> indeed. So they all have these six toys and they, they will, we will test them, the first two dogs, we will test them tomorrow whether they have learned the toys. And then in the following week, we will introduce to you another pair of two genius dogs that will do the same. So these dogs also will have six days to learn uh, six toys. And then these dogs, these dogs next week are going to be Ma Max and uh, Squall. So if you are uh, on Instagram, search them up. I'm going to also leave you leave you the in the comments their uh, accounts so you can uh, see them. Yeah, sorry, mm -hmm. Claudia. Go ahead. So mm -hmm. the week after that, we have another pair for the first stage. That's going to be uh, Nalani and Gaia. And then we start the second stage. You said it's harder because mm. it's double the chance <laughs> well toys in six days i don't know if i could do it i i, I know i cannot learn six hungarian uh, like 12 hungarian words in a uh, six days <laughs> yes. yes i have been working in hungary for i don't know like 10 years almost now and i i probably didn't reach even six so yeah. i would say that Probably our dogs are way more genius than I am. And I also would say if you go into our um, social media accounts, you will be able to see the first two dogs uh, trying to learn the, the six new toys of the first stage of the challenge. So you can go and have a look how much fun they are having and how excited everybody is, including the dogs, about the challenge, or probably especially the dogs and me and you. <laughs> but I'm sure that once you will see these dogs, you will all get really excited about it because these dogs are so amazing, so special. In, I mean, I am 40, I don't even know how old I am. I guess I'm four, I'm almost 42. Yes, I'm so old. <laughs> um, and I've been spent my life, I spent my life with dogs. I was born with dogs and then I started to uh, study dogs and train dogs and do research on dogs. But I really have never seen something like this. So this is something that will blow your mind. So make sure tomorrow you are there with us live. You can also comment on the challenge. Um, we, we will have to be really concentrated because this is actually a scientific test. So we will have to try not to make mistakes. We will do our best because we might be nervous as well because it's going to be live. Uh, but we will do our best. And uh, I'm sure you will have a big surprise to see how these dogs can learn the name of toys. Yeah. Okay, so guys, um, thank you very much for being with us. And thank you, Claudia, for explaining about the challenge. Um, don't forget, tomorrow, 7, 7 o'clock Central Europe time, uh, and if you have any questions that you would like us to answer, drop us a comment. We're going to have a, each week an interview of a new scientist that's going to explain how we're doing dog science. See you all tomorrow. Don't miss out Bye, tomorrow. Don't miss out tomorrow. Bye.